Hi everyone. Unfortunately, thousands of domestic and wild animals suffer every year because of human actions. This can manifest in different ways, from abuse to poaching and environmental pollution. Yes, you can't deny that people are sometimes cruel to other creatures of our planet, but you can always find ways to help them. For example, donate a small amount to a local shelter, feed cats in the yard, or take care of the separation of litter. There are people out there who devoted their lives to saving animals, and today we will tell you about them. In this video, you will see the most incredible stories about prostheses for animals in need. We'll show you that even in the most desperate situations, there's still a way out. Let's get it on. Moshe the Elephant in an Asian country like Thailand, elephants are not treated like usual animals. Since ancient times, these creatures are considered sacred. The local religion says the remains of the Buddha were carried on the backs of these lovely animals with long trunks. Today, theatrical performances involving elephants attract thousands of tourists here, and in November, you can see solemn processions in honor of these animals on the streets of many cities. By the way, in this country, you can even find the world's first hospital built specifically for the treatment of elephants. It's called Friends of the Asian Elephant Hospital. Since it was opened, more than 4,000 animals have already received medical care here. One of the hospital's regular patients is Moshe the elephant. She lost one of her front legs in early childhood when she accidentally stepped on a landmine. Local specialists made her a huge prosthesis that helps the elephant live an almost normal life. A little later, when Moshe grew up, the prosthesis was improved and adjusted to her height. Of course, this animal will never be able to live in the wild because it needs round-the-clock supervision and care. But looking at the kind of love that surrounds her all around, there's no doubt that after the trauma, fate smiled upon her. Dudley the Bull Little Dudley was taken from his mother when he was only one month old. He was put up for auction, where it was acquired by the owner of a local farm. Alas, before moving into a new house, if the slaughterhouse can be called such, something terrible happened to him. Due to the negligence of the staff, one of the bull's legs got entangled in baling twine, cutting off the blood circulation. No longer able to see the pain that Dudley was in, the owner decided to seek help from local vets. Seeing the condition of the poor bull, the doctors were really worried. They said the bull's life was in danger, and little Dudley had to be rescued ASAP. First, the doctors partially amputated the damaged limb. It was obvious that it was no longer possible to save it. Moreover, the risks associated with the operation were incredibly high, because anesthesia usually has an adverse effect on cows. While Dudley was going through a long period of rehabilitation, veterinarians worked on a tailor-made prosthesis for the unfortunate animal. Of course, at first it was unusual and difficult to use. Dudley wasn't happy about wearing a removable leg, but over time the bull got used to the changes in his life and started feeling happy again. Thanks to the prosthetic foot, he was even able to run around just like a small calf. Now the charming Dudley lives on another farm with the doctors who saved him from death and serves as an example of resilience, endurance and courage for other animals and people. Nakio the Dog Thanks to modern medicine, animals can now live with a prosthesis instead of a foot. However, what if all the limbs have failed and the animal can't move at all? Not so long ago, this would mean that there's no hope for the poor animal. But modern technology comes to the rescue even in such difficult cases. This incredible story happened in the United States in Nebraska, where a homeless red dog Nakio became the first dog in the world with four bionic paws. Nakio, along with his sisters and brothers, were abandoned by a human family when he was still a little puppy. At some point, his former owners ended up in a difficult financial situation. They lost their house and left their pets to their fate. By some miracle, Nakio's siblings managed to survive the harsh winter, but he really had it rough. He ended up in a frozen puddle in the basement of a house, where he stayed for so long that he suffered a severe frostbite and lost all four paws. By pure accident, he was spotted by an employee of a local shelter, who immediately took took the poor pup to the vet. The doctors had bad news, and the treatment costs were way too high, so it was decided to set up a fundraiser to get Nakio new paws. Fortunately, there were many kind people among the locals, who managed to raise money for two hind prosthetic legs, and two front prostheses were provided free of charge by their manufacturer, Orthopets. 
from neighboring Colorado State. The pup was adopted by the vet Christy, who took all the responsibility for treating the dog. Good job! Good boy! Good boy. Doctors worried that Nakio wouldn't be able to adapt to the new limbs. After all, usually getting used to even a single prosthesis takes a lot of time. So the hind leg prosthetics were made first. Imagine their surprise when they saw that Nakio started using them right away as if they were his own paws. Then the doctors addressed the front legs. And now, Nakio can run and play, just like any healthy dog of his age. Bet on a star. In 2017, the destructive hurricane Irma hit several states of the Caribbean Sea and the coast of the US state of Florida. Powerful streams of water and gusts of wind at a speed of 360 kilometers per hour brought incredible devastation to the coast. The damage was estimated at $80 billion. Thousands of people lost their homes. But of course, not only people suffer in such catastrophes. Hurricanes also deal a heavy blow to the ecosystem and the animals that cannot hide from the danger. One of the victims of the terrible hurricane of 2017 was a horse named Bet on a Star. The animal ended up on a flooded farm alone among the streams of water and dirt. By a tragic accident, one of his legs had a fresh wound, which became sore after the prolonged contact with contaminated water. Vets from a local charity tried to do everything possible to save the horse's leg, but in the end, it still had to be amputated to just above the hoof. The experts faced a dilemma. Euthanized an unfortunate animal or create a prosthesis. Because for any racing horse, life without movement is a fate worse than death. Bet was always so attached to people that the staff of the shelter and his new owner Brittany Brett simply couldn't let him go. They decided to fight for his life. The team contacted the best vets and procured a modern prosthesis for Bet. There goes. So easy. Worldwide, there have only been about 70 horses successfully fitted with a new leg. Now, Bet runs like any other horse and works in the charity organization as a therapy animal. People who've gone through limb amputation for whatever reason come to see him. Winter the Dolphin a little over 10 years ago, a female dolphin was found on the coast of Cape Canaveral in Florida. The animal was only two months old, and her life was in danger. The sea creature got entangled in a poacher's trap for crabs, which had cost her tail fluke. Usually, dolphins don't survive after such a serious injury, especially at such an early age. But Winter turned out to be lucky. She not only was able to survive a difficult surgery, but also became the first marine creature with a bionic prosthesis. American scientists have developed a special model for the artificial tail. And believe us, if you didn't know about it, you wouldn't even spot the difference, at least underwater. However, when developing the prosthesis, no one was certain that it would work, because nothing like this had ever been done in the history of medicine. It took almost a year and a half to develop the tail. It had to freely bend in all directions and become a real extension of the spine. Issue number one was that specialists needed flexible and dense material. Issue number two, it had to withstand constant contact with salt water. Obviously, the plastic that most prostheses are made of is not suitable for this. Then the engineers came up with a special material, soft but strong gel that doesn't injure the amputated body part of Winter. Of course, the rehabilitation process was challenging, but day after day, she got used to her new body part. Now she even performs in shows on the water and is quite popular among the visitors. Bill the Turkey a bird in a wheelchair is hardly what you'd expect to see on a normal farm. However, the place we'll tell you about is quite extraordinary. This farm in Washougal, Washington, helps sick and injured animals start a new life. Local vets fight for everyone, even if it's a regular chicken or any other poultry. Bill the turkey suffered from a foot injury, which caused him great inconvenience and much pain. To ease his suffering, vets advised the caretakers to put him on a special diet. Yeah, you want some banana. But the owners of the farm decided not to stop there. They came up with a brilliant idea to find a special dog wheelchair. And yes, those do exist, and adapt it to Bill's needs. Although the idea seemed crazy, they succeeded, and the turkey took to the new product with unexpected enthusiasm. Ramina the Whippet 
You've probably heard that 3D printing technologies offer new opportunities for transplantology and surgeries. They can make life easier, not only for people, but also for animals. There are even successful cases of creating prosthetics using these incredible innovations. In 2013, a whippet called Romina was involved in a terrible accident with a mechanical lawnmower. The vets tried to restore her left front leg with titanium plates but the surgery was unsuccessful, and the right leg had to be amputated. Romina's owners were in despair and wanted only one thing, to prolong the life of their pet and give it new paws. Luckily, there was a vet in Mexico who was willing to help them. For six months, Dr. Sanchez and his team worked on a special prosthesis prototype based on 3D technologies. After many sleepless nights and hard work, the dog finally got new paws, and with them, a chance for a full and happy life. Einstein the fish One day, the owner of a goldfish called Einstein, Lita Naylor from England, noticed that one of his beloved pets was falling on its side and barely swimming. It turned out that the problem was caused by the dorsal fin of the poor fish. Leighton, seeing how depressed his little fish looked, decided to take the matter into his own hands. No, he didn't bring it to the vet. The smart guy designed a swimming vest for Einstein, which restored its ability to move again. It seems that it's the owner who should have been called Einstein. Caramel the Squirrel this charming squirrel, which in a twist of fate was caught in an animal trap, was found in the Turkish city of Batman. Let's be honest, many of us would have just walked by the poor animal, but fortunately not in this case. The tiny animal, affectionately nicknamed Caramel, was brought to Istanbul Aydin University, where local vets began to work on saving it. It's hard to believe, but orthopedists managed to construct two prosthetic wheels for the squirrel's front paws, which work as a miniature wheelchair. Of course, even with their help, Caramel will not be able to do the usual squirrel things like searching for nuts, but at least it can run again. Kitten in a wheelchair Prepare your tissues. This may be the most touching thing you see today. One day, a Brazilian boy called Joao went to visit his neighbor and saw a tragic scene. A small kitten that had lost its hind legs and couldn't play with its peers. Saddened, the boy went back home and locked himself in his room. Joao spent many hours thinking about how to help the poor cat. He came up with an idea of using the wheels of one of his toy cars as a prosthetic, but they all looked a bit too big. Then the child asked his friend for help and designed a real rescue device for the neighbor's animal. You can see the result for yourself. Unfortunately, a little later, Hao's mother wrote on Facebook that the cat's bowels shut down and it didn't survive. But one thing is for sure, it spent its last days surrounded by love and care. Achilles the Rhino this baby rhino called Achilles was taken to an animal shelter in South Africa four days after its birth. The thing is, it was born with a damaged hind leg. Due to the severity of the injury, vets had to act without delay to save the animal's life. For the first few months, the doctors put bandages and medications on the injured leg every day, watching Achilles almost around the clock. Fortunately, after a while, healthy tissue and skin began to slowly grow around the exposed bones. Then, the vets decided that it was time to start making a special prosthesis. Surprisingly, the rhinoceros quickly got used to it, but the growth rate of the animal was so rapid that the doctors had to design a new prosthetic leg of a larger size. Achilles still uses it, and according to the caretakers from the shelter, it plays and runs around its territory as fast as its friends. Peg the Duck when Patsy Smith from Arkansas found a lost Indian runner duck on the street, she just couldn't leave the poor animal to its fate. It turned out that one of the bird's legs was badly damaged. It might have been bitten by a large turtle. Unfortunately, the wound was so deep that it became infected. Patsy decided to go to a vet center in Canada, but it turned out that the kind people were near and ready to help. A group of local high school students offered to help the injured duckling. It turned out that there was a special lab in the school where children children conducted various experiments using 3D printing. They were looking for interesting projects to develop new prototypes when they heard about PEG. Three school children spent three months making a prosthesis model for the bird. They had to try three dozen different options before they could find the right mold. But the miracle finally happened. The new leg fit perfectly, and now PEG can enjoy life as never before. Grisha the Toucan 
In 2015, a charming female toucan Grisha from Costa Rica was abused by a human. As a result, it lost a significant part of its beak and stopped eating, drinking, or making any sounds. Specialists of the local rescue center Zoo Avenue, with the largest collection of different birds in Latin America, decided to save the toucan. To create a new beak, experts use a special plastic, which was given the desired shape using a 3D printer. By the way, this is the same material that's been used for many years in the construction of light racing cars for Formula One. The money for the creation of the beak was raised from all over the world, and after a few months of rehabilitation, Grisha was able to cheerfully twitter and eat without any help once again. Tortoises on Wheels a few years ago, people around the world learned that many sea turtles die from plastic straws. But unfortunately, this is not the only danger that awaits these creatures in the vast seas and oceans. This turtle called Akut 3 lost part of its jaw due to a collision with a boat's propeller. Specialists from Pamukkale University in Denizli in Turkey came to the rescue. With the help of a local company of human prosthesis production, scientists were able to design a new jaw for the turtle, which is almost no different from the real one. Thanks to it, the turtle was able to eat by itself and enjoy life again. Do you think that Lego is only good for building toy houses? Mm, not quite. There are cases when real human hand prosthetics were made using Lego pieces. They even saved the life of this turtle from the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. The animal was found in poor condition. The entire lower part of its shell was covered with deep cracks. Such an injury is not fatal, except for one thing. For the armor to be successfully healed, it must be kept away from the ground. Otherwise, a serious infection can get into the turtle's body. Body. Vets were unable to find a wheelchair for the turtle's size. However, they came up with a more ingenious solution, a special device on wheels built from Lego pieces. A similar story happened with a large land turtle named Gamera from Washington. One of the animal's legs was amputated due to a serious injury, so vets had to find ways for it to survive. Eventually, a movable ball wheel was installed on the lower part of Gamera's shell, which allows it to move its 10 kilogram body without any difficulties. And finally, perhaps the most touching story for today. This baby Egyptian tortoise called Helix was born with a serious birth defect. Its hind legs are raised so that it can't walk on its own. The animal was going to be put down, but a tortoise lover called Randy Betts saved the baby's life. He invented tiny wheels, which helped Helix learn what it was like to move like other tortoises from his kin. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.